Hello everyone, Cindy here. In this video, I will be giving you a few reasons why I am not threatened by AI image generators and why you shouldn't be either. When I went to China, I visited an art market where art collectors go and buy artworks, often from successful, well-known artists. I got curious and showed some of the people there a few images that were generated using Midjourney without telling them that the image was AI generated. Many of them said that the image looked pretty but lacked substance. Others said that although the image looked cool, it's not something that they would purchase. Many of the art collectors said that the image was uninteresting to them and saw no content beyond its rendering, and the image appeared synthetic. Art lovers can sense the authenticity and the substance of artworks. Thus, artists shouldn't worry about AI-generated images since it cannot produce or replicate what art lovers really appreciate about art in the first place. Sean from The Art Mentor also speaks about reasons why AI-generated images will never replace artists in the art industry, as the images it produces doesn't fit the needs of art clients. Although there are many people out there consuming AI-generated images, but these people are not the type of audience that you should be concerned about, since those are the people who would not appreciate art in the first place. If you're an AI image consumer who just got offended by my last statement, I have a few questions for you. Is there a particular art movement that you have great interest in? Perhaps Impressionism or Surrealism? Maybe Baroque or Classicism? Do you understand what art movements are and what they represent in the history of art? Or are there any particular artists that you really appreciate and do you know their story? These questions are not a matter of offense, but solely reflect a matter of differences and interests, as art and technology are fundamentally different. Just to prove my point, I'm going to clone my voice using an AI tool and let it narrate what I'm going to say for the next section. Hello, this is Cindy's AI clone speaking to you. You probably can tell that this voice is AI generated because of the flat tonality of the speech. When compared to my real voice narrating the previous sections of this video, this voice probably lacks emotions and might sound rather tedious and irritating after a while. Sure, it is interesting that the technologies we have today can mimic someone's voice, but do you really prefer this synthetic replica of the human voice over the real thing? The same applies to AI images. It is interesting due to the fact that they are images generated by technologies that mimic artworks, but the product will never amount to the real deal. After looking at the images generated with AI for long durations of time, it loses its appeal as the images look rather similar to one another, also because it lacks the organic rawness of human intent. Therefore, AI-generated images will never replace authentic artwork as its output lacks what art lovers are looking for. Similarly to my points that were narrated using an AI tool, do you know any large successful content creators that primarily uses AI to voice over their videos? Or do you know any big artists who generate all their images using AI? The answer is no. Actual art will not be replaced by AI image generators, however, crafts might. In my mind, there's a distinction between art and craft, and not all drawings are artworks. To not piss anyone off, I'll use some of my own drawings as examples. These are some of my drawings from when I was a kid. They may look nice, but possesses very little in-depth substance and are not something that would necessarily be called art. While I was drawing these images, what I had in mind were primarily how the image may look, and I focused on the rendering instead. I didn't think much about the in-depth story behind the piece, or any symbolisms, for that matter. Thus, I wouldn't consider these drawings of mine as artworks, but rather, pretty detailed crafts work that are pretty to look at. Images generated by AI consist of only looks and detailed rendering while lacking any deep substance us, or just crafts. So AI image generators may end up replacing lower tier crafts work and be used in the aspect that do not necessarily require the time of an artist. However, because craft works are being replaced by machines, 
AI image generators can help elevate many people from being craftsmen to becoming artists by encouraging artists to implement more depth into their works. When it comes to AI-generated images, they are not a form of artistic endeavor, but rather a celebration of technology. They do not require any understanding of artistic theory from the user inputting the prompt, nor do they involve any deep thought with its creation. Right now, AI-generated images are rejected from the proper fine art societies as a form of artistic expression because they lack all the necessary elements that are required for it to be considered as art. I understand that it is argued that art is subjective, but it is thought critically in regards to what should and shouldn't be considered as art. And AI-generated images are not qualified for that classification, because if everything is art, nothing's art. Thus, you will not see an AI-generated image being accepted into an established art museum. And this is why I am not threatened by AI image generators. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way through this video. Please like and subscribe if you're curious to see more. And please have a wonderful day.